What's going on, guys? How are we doing? Um, <clears throat> after my last video, I'm going to make a little bit different speed of a presentation. Uh, I was thinking uh, about taking it kind of from the top, you know, and, and bringing us back through, you know, the creation and how we got here and how everything fell into place, you know, how time came into being, how the material uh, universe that we see, the template uh, of the eternal kingdoms that was used, and then all the subsequent issues and problems that have transpired afterwards. Um, the... Uh, Uh, the nature of the rulers is a it's kind of a huge you know topic and a lot of people are talking about the Anunnaki and you know extraterrestrials a lot of people have a lot of you know it's hard to tie a lot of this stuff together because there's so much information and so much disinformation that comes from you know people that we trust and a lot of times the disinformation isn't necessarily deliberate you know sometimes obviously in, in some cases it is but a lot of times it's not. And it's hard to decipher that stuff, you know, and put the picture together as a whole and really get an idea because I think it's crucial that we get an idea of where we are and what our place is and what point we are, at what point we're at in the universe and, and, the, pro and the progression of this whole experience. And... I believe if we if we look at the nature of what we're actually dealing with and the structure of things that are that are coming forth from the beginning. So in the beginning you have, you know, the the, the you, you take everything and you gather it back to a zero point. And that's the beginning, obviously. And and from that and, and from that is the thought of the all. And from the thought of the all comes forethought, foreknowledge, eternal life, indestructibility, and truth, and love, and freedom, and peace, and from that, that's, the thought of the all is the Holy Spirit, and that's eternal, and that'll never cease to exist. It's what props everything up. It's what gives beingness to everything. And it, it came before everything. It, it is everything. It is the catalyst. It is the, the end point. I mean, it is whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> and unfortunately, we've decided to call it God, which is not its true name. And by doing so, we've labeled it as a being that is actually the deceiver. Um, and I'll get to that. But anyways, so from the eternal thought of the all and every adjacent principle, every, every corresponding principle that comes from that, um, you have the perfect being it's uh, the concepts are neither male nor female and are both male and female at the same time it's perfect it's perfect unity there's no separation no concept of separation no idea of separation nothing so from that you have the manifestation of the perfect being the perfect aeon the illuminate the illuminary the, the illuminator the one who, who, who all things, all kingdoms, all concepts, all beingness becomes manifest. And, and as its manifestation, you have Adam, or the stranger, the, ones, the one who is to rule over everything, the individualized conception of the thought of the all right and from that you get what would, what would become 
us. The being, the beingness with mind, with individual mind, as part of the entirety of the whole. And from that, you have the who is to, you have the being who is to have dominion over all the kingdoms. And it's, it's whole conceptual, conceptualization comes forth from the concepts of unconditional love, freedom, and peace as the end result. Right? So that's, that's the perfect, that's the eternal kingdoms. That's how the eternal kingdoms come into being. And that's where we actually exist. That's where our home is. That's what we really are. But the, the, the feminine aspect of the, tr- the, the perfect being, the f- mother, father, and spirit, the feminine aspect decided it wanted to create something of itself, for itself, like itself. A, you know, a kingdom for itself. And from that, without the lack of the triple power, the threefold light, the mother, father, and spirit, without all three in union as the creative force, you don't get what it, what turns out like us. You get what turns out to be like the Orion Nebula. It turns into a thought form of energy because the, the feminine aspect's thought didn't stay idle and it created something and it manifested something in in reality and what it manifested was cast away cast out of the eternal kingdoms because it was only one third of the the perfect the, the triple power the mother father and spirit the androgynous perfect one the perfect androgynous being perfect being of light is really what it is. It's the perfect being of light. <clears throat> because that's the essence of who we are, what we really are, is the mother, father, and spirit. But we've been separated because of the distorted thought of the, f- the feminine aspect, the mother, creating the distorted Orion Nebula, which then, that Orion Nebula, because it has the light of the mother within it, was able to create what we perceive as the material universe. And when it created the material universe, if you notice, everything that comes forth from the nebula, because it generates the stars and planets, since it only has one third of the, the three lights, the perfect being of light, one third of the perfect being of light, that's why the matter that is created from it casts a shadow because it's not pure. There's darkness within it and that darkness is what's what we call density. And that density is what puts itself between the pure light from the eternal kingdoms and our perception of the eternal kingdoms. You see, matter has placed itself in the way of us perceiving the eternal kingdoms because we are for one, so focused on taking it, manipulating it, and building it into a way that satisfies that craving that we have inside for salvation. Right? And so doing that, we are we are taking our mind away from what we really are and what we should be focusing on and, and looking upwards towards and, and, and bringing within our beingness so as to fill ourselves with it. The Holy Spirit is what it's called in, in biblical text. Fill ourselves with the Holy Spirit and express the truth in our, in our lives and then be the candle that expands. You know, if you have a candle in a room and it starts burning hot enough, it, 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 the heat transfers to the next candle and they all start to eventually ignite and it illuminates the dark material universe that we live in. And that's the whole purpose. That's the whole goal. You see, we got we got the thought turned into the nebula, which it, in the biblical text it says it was it, it turned into a dragon, right? It was cast down to the earth, cast 
down to have dominion over the world. And the world's just the material universe. It's just the matter that we're dealing with. That's, that's where logic and reason comes from. That's why we have fears, because we're afraid of not having enough matter to satisfy that cravings for salvation that we, we have so deeply ingrained in our spirit. And when all really, in all reality, we, all we really have to do is just let go and realize that we have enough. And the light of the Father is within us. It was built within us when, the, when, when these bodies were crafted. And that light is meant to be brought forth from the eternal kingdoms into this vehicle so as to express it outwardly into the, into the dark matter and material universe we're in. I said that already, but i got to say it again. Um, and then, you know, once the matter, once the nebula came into being, right, and it started creating matter, and it's, and it, and it's, it's intelligent, right, but it, it only knows its mother. The nebula and all that it creates comes only from the feminine aspect, and it only has the, the principles that are associated with that, which is logic and reason, right, things along those, things along those lines which are what have, have locked us into our dependence on the material universe for salvation and, and survival. So once, once the material universe came into being and the, the, the Orion Nebula, which is worshiped, which is, which is called God, that's the name of it. And that's this little, little Draco, Alpha Draconian, cohorts called themselves God too and gods and whatnot and uh, they're worshipped as gods in ancient times as well and their cohorts are worshipped in times as ancient gods that's who's all over the hieroglyphs and all over the Mayans and the Aztecs and all that serpent worship it's those guys they came down here and presented themselves as gods with higher technology and they provided that technology to those peoples in order to use them to enslave themselves and it gives them a source of fuel and food. It gives them the, the, the ability to, to, to maintain order out of chaos in the universe and bring those that are not part of what they believe to be the only thing in existence, which is this material universe. They bring those that are foreign to them into control and domination so that they can, like I said, bring order out of chaos. That's all they know. And they're evil. I mean, in, in just in their way, just in their in their in the way that they think, and the way that they feel, and the way that they manipulate, and, and their superior belief that they are the they are the creators of this material universe. They are the rulers of this material universe, so they should have the ability to do whatever it is they want, right? But they can't literally enslave us because we will wake up, and if we wake up, we'll understand where we are. In the, in the, in the, in the, at the point of where we are in the universe and once that awakening happens then they don't have any power anymore because all we do is let go and once we let go then we return back to who we really are but the cool thing is is that this material universe still exists it came into existence as a way as a, as a distortion but it's also a way to unify and create something from that original eternal thought of the all and it gives us a material realm to participate in but we have been misled in our in our thinking and we are misusing the material universe and not using in a way that's empowering and and in line with the the the, the principles of the father so therefore we're getting a distorted experience it's really just an easy way to say it so the distorted experience is the lack that we have, you know, the suffering of having to, you know, go and spend all our time at work, you know, gain, earning money and earning all, gaining all this material possession, you know, and sacrificing the time with our families, you know, and the, and the things that are really important, you know. But we feel this need to get ahead because this sense of lack, this fear of lack has permeated the entire experience. It dominates the entire experience. And so we have this fear of lack, so we're all going out seeking and searching for this, this heaven that we think we're going to find in obtaining material possessions. And it just we, it's never going to happen that way. It can't happen that way. The only way it happens is if we let go and appreciate where we are, but we have to know where we are. 
so that's what all this is about is remembering where we are you know who we are we are that eternal thought of the all we're the individualized expression of that right and we are just we're just locking ourselves into this fear of lack mentality and we're not we're not seeing the beauty that's actually around us because we think we have to take what already is perfect and make it into something that that is is better right so that it satisfies us but it never does it never satisfies that feeling of the the void is never full filled so i know this this information and this belief to fill that void i know for a fact it does you want for nothing and everything that exists is 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 good enough and it allows us the ability to just stop and slow down and take a breath and then what we need to do is we need to clean up the mess that we've allowed to ha- allowed to to come into being we have the lunatics still running the asylum and they need to come to heal and i mean that's going to that's going to work itself out in due time but we need to be prepared and not not freak out you know if if crazy shit starts going down i mean i know a lot of us won't but there's going to be a lot of us to do that's why this information needs to spread because our possessions don't matter if we can come together we don't need them to maintain anything we can do everything ourselves we can do everything we've survived without all this technology we survived for thousands of years millions of years right thousands of years thousands of millions of years millions of thousands of years whatever bunch of years man and then now all of a sudden we'll die if we don't have Wi-Fi. And that whole belief system is locking us into this fear of lack. And it's destroying our, our future. It's destroying our lives. It's destroying our relationships. We're, we're, we're slaves, man, to a system that's killing us. And I'm not saying we just give up. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying we just stop doing what we're doing. I'm saying we start to appreciate where we're at. And we let the light of truth shine freely from us. And we radiate it outwards towards our, our fellow our fellow man. And and we become a beacon of light. And and we we allow we share this message, man. We share this message. We don't need all this stuff. We don't need all this excess. We don't need it. We survive long enough. We survive for a long time without it. For a long time, man. And we've gotten we've gotten out of control. We've gotten rowdy. We've gotten sleepy. We've forgotten. And we've been led astray into great, great, great turmoil. Great turmoil. And we've fallen in love with these beliefs and these traditions and these values and all this stuff that takes what's truly beautiful and free and locks it into a three-dimensional belief system where there's no allowance for expression outside of the traditions of the society that you live in. And those that try to go outside of the box are ridiculed, for one, but for two, have no understanding or concept of what the true nature of the universe is so their expression is usually distorted because it comes from one of their screens one te- some form of technology or another has implanted that concept that they believe in or that idea in their mind and it's not free thought it's implanted thought coming from the tech the artificial intelligence that's causing the person to think a certain way that's untrue in light of the nature of reality. So it's all distorted and it's all created this way by them, by the Draco, by the Orion group, by the Syrians, anybody that's not, anybody that's not stepping up and saying, look, this is what's going on. I feel is truly being manipulative and deceptive because I know for one, Humanity has been crying in the wilderness for hundreds of years. And it's time for us to come to the realization of what the truth and the true nature of this material universe actually is. And how we've been deceived 
and how our thoughts have been hijacked, our sovereignty has been been manipulated and infiltrated, and how our freedom has been completely trampled on. We have we have the free will to enslave ourselves. And we also have the free will to step out of this illusion and escape the trap. And there are those that know the truth and are withholding it so as to keep themselves on the thrones of their kingdoms. And those people will be held accountable and they will be seen for who and what they are. And they will be judged according to those deeds. And the fire of truth and the nature of what they've done will burn so furiously within inside of them that it will consume them. And the fear of that will drive anyone insane will drive anyone to a point of lunacy that would cause them to sacrifice anything and everything to maintain their grasp on the illusion that's presented within this material universe. Because without the illusion that's presented within this material universe, their lives will be exposed and they'll be consumed from within. So the motivation for them is tremendous and all it takes from us is like a one hundredth of that motivation that they have to be free and it'll happen but our concept of freedom has been hijacked so badly that we're terrified of letting go of the material illusion and the 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 need for possession that we've had that it's going to be difficult to break this um i truly believe that there are those that are working for truth and i truly hold them in the highest highest regard but i do believe that it is time for us to expose those that are deceiving us and withholding the truth like a lot of these YouTube figures that speak about unifying and, and, and all this, you know, new age hoopla, ya ya stuff that has no basis in reality, has literally no basis in the true nature of the eternal kingdoms. All they present is a worship, a way of worship of the material universe and the serpent in the Orion Nebula and the Draco and the Orion group and the Syrians and all those other beings that wish to enslave us. They work specifically with them. Whether they know it or not, and and it to me, it's absolutely disgusting. And it's sickening. Because the information is out there. The information is there. And if they know it, there's a very, 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 very special place for them. I, I promise that. And I, if I were them, I would be absolutely terrified. I would be absolutely terrified. And I believe I can see it in their eyes. I believe I can see it in their eyes and their videos. But that's neither here nor there. So, you guys know who you are. But uh, I know this video is going to get probably shadow banned and, and, and manipulated and, and everything else. But... It's, high, it's time for these people to be put on, 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 put out as, you know, put out in front of us as who they really are. You know, you have these athletes, you have these Hollywood figures, you have these politicians, these religious people in very, very, very high positions of power, all working and worshiping the same reptile in the Orion Nebula. If you look behind the Pope in the Vatican, there's a giant reptile that signifies that serpent worship that, that's all over the face of this planet. And you see, you look at LeBron James and him doing his little, his little Luciferian serpent worship uh, uh, little, little traditions right before his games. Watch him next time. You'll see it. 
See, they put it out there, and that's how they call down these, these kingdoms, these thrones and these kingdoms. And in the end, the manipulation and the, and the darkness that they're casting over humanity and, and, and stealing their freedom and sovereignty through their manipulation of belief systems and ideologies, the throne that they're going to sit on at the end is going to be horrific. It's going to be terrible for them. They believe they're gaining... <laughs> they believe they're gaining salvation forever, but they don't understand that we're going to wipe them from consciousness. And it's going to be like they never existed. And it's a shame because I truly believe that somewhere in there is, is, is are beings that, that could potentially have compassion. But I remember them now as the ones that were easily led astray by the, the riches and glamour of, of one of one experience right like this and then dying and having to do it all again and dying and having to do it all again and again and again and again and eventually being expunged then absorbed back into the light and the memory of everything you held dear being worth nothing in the end what a sad way what a sad way to experience existence and the eternal thought of the all. When there's a thread that exists forever that's that's allotted and, 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 and given to all of us if we just choose to make that choice and choose to make a stand against what, what is already dead. Thank you guys. I love you.